obvious transfer of Andrea Conti to AC Milan has finally been announced. Michael, the saga seems like it's finally over. Finally, but we knew it was going to happen. The agent said it, uh, Conti said he wasn't saying it, Atalanta. There was no suspense, but nonetheless, this is a great, great transfer that none of the big teams really pounce on. And we do got to give Milan a lot of credit on this. Because right now, if you look, uh, Dani Alves left Juve. Juve could have used him. Inter always need fullbacks. Roma, mm -hmm. Roma, Roma, and, and even some top teams in Europe, you could say. Yeah. yeah Andrea yeah. Conti is a fantastic, fantastic mm -hmm. fullback, an Italian fullback, young, and uh, you know it was secured with that classic three-way oh, handshake. Like, we need him in the that's middle so over weird, here. But it's so it's funny. So, funny. It's uh, style. so yeah, it's finally gone through. The player was extremely excited about joining Milan. He was adamant. He was very clear and something we don't see in football a lot of times. Yeah. Usually it's a lie like, oh no, I'm, I love Atalanta. I'm going to stay here. He was like, listen, Milan's my dream. I'll miss my vacation right. for Milan. I'll do whatever it takes to sign for AC Milan. And I think that kind of spirit, that kind of embodiment from a young Italian, and I'm gonna say Italian because it does add a little bit of extra weight that he's Italian to Milan because I, I think it's something that they've lacked in the past. They've lacked that kind of hunger. And yes, it's just talk, but it's a good initial step. And I'm extremely excited for Andrea Conti and seeing this process of Kessia and Conti link up from Atlanta and build to Milan, it just says a lot. And I gotta give Milan a lot of credit for this one. It proves that even through the tough times that they've been through, their dominance and security as a brand, I mean, as a team of Milan, is such a powerful thing. I definitely agree. And they, guys, they made uh, seven signings with Conti right now, which is incredible, because it's only a few days in the new, in the new Mercato right now. Yeah. And uh, what do you call it? They said they're gonna go back. They're gonna sell a few players, take a little bit of break of buying, yep. sell a few players, and then go back on that buying. Which is thing, smart. Which is insane, because they virtually change, changing their whole team. And if they get, I think maybe one or two more players they can get, their team is complete for uh, next season. And I think it goes to uh, the work that they were doing off the pitch while the season was on. They were ready mm -hmm. to start this with the bang, and they've been one of the best teams in Europe with the transfer market so far. And they also do need a lot of work on the transfer market, so that plays a role in it. But Fasone and Mirabelli have done an incredible job, especially luring this young Italian player who I expected to go maybe somewhere or to have uh, interest from somewhere else. Anyway, he signed, he said, finally, I am a Milan player. I'm very moved by this welcome and I hope to repay all this faith in the best way. I think the minimum we should target is a Champions League place. The club deserves it for both its history and what it's doing this year. He's been linked to comparisons with both Tassotti and Cafu and he commented on this when he signed for Milan. He said, I hope to achieve even half of what they did at Milan. I'm here to work hard, I'm a fullback, who likes to come forward and I've given my best as a fifth member of midfield but in my career I've always played in a four-man defense again because Montella is looking to rotate a little bit but it's most likely going to be that four-man defense the, the, but he's versatile he is very versatile I was, he's going to be very interesting we've seen a lot of, of him in Atalanta one of the reasons why Atalanta had a great season and I'm just so excited to see him and just the rest of the Milan transfers fitting in this whole new Milan squad and one of my favorite parts is definitely that how he said that he was willing to not even go on vacation just to get the signing. In modern day football, it, it's you incredible to hear, hear someone say that and I really love that from Conti. He seems like a very um, down to earth, hardworking young Italian who comes from a good family and he says that he owes all of his success to his parents who were in the crowd the other day when he was getting um, an award for best Serie A defender. But anyway guys, we want to hear your thoughts on what you have to say about this transfer. Let us know in the comment section below. Are you excited as a Milan fan? Are you excited? And as a Serie A fan, what do you think about this in general? And are you surprised that Juve, Inter, Roma, no one else tried to go for him? Let us know. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you like this video. And we'll talk to you soon. Ciao ragazzi. Yes. Mike's on, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. The guy, bro, he do it. Eyebrows on fleek. Remember when you said that? People stop saying that. I never said that. Maybe you were saying I never that. said that. Like, you just real. said it, bro. I said it as a joke, but people say, yo, you say before those eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> like, I say I feel so go? weird saying it. On fleek. Chile fleek, eh?